Zero is an operator that seems to be a very mixed bag in the community. Pro players and content creators hold him to a very high regard, with almost everyone tier listing him B tier or higher. Tier. Zero is underrated. As for zero, probably just A. I think A is a good spot for zero. Next for zero, zero. Here, I'm gonna put him at B2. However, the recent operator statistics have released and they paint a totally different picture. Based on the stats, Zero has the lowest win rate out of any operator and his pick rate isn't much better. So today I'll be talking about why I think Zero isn't as good as content creators and pro players claim by pointing out his glaring flaws. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. There is no set in stone fact for how good an operator is with the exception of Grim. So if you disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment down below. I enjoy discussing these things with you guys and anyways, let's go ahead and get started. My first point against Zero is how difficult it is to conceal his cameras. When shot, Zero's cameras will make a loud drilling sound revealing their location to anyone remotely nearby. This makes zero cams really difficult to successfully use against roamers because if you shoot a zero cam, any roamer nearby will hear them. And even if the roamer doesn't hear the cam being deployed, they will likely see the extremely bright green light that comes from the camera when it's actively being watched. This green light literally ruins all capability of hiding his cameras because the light is so damn bright. It can even be seen through foliage. These glaring issues make his camera extremely easy to spot or locate as a defender. Another major flaw of his cameras is the taser that the cameras are equipped with. The taser is rarely useful because if you want to have a chance to use it, you must shoot his cameras into sight. And once again, his cameras are extremely loud and obvious, especially when shot onto a reinforced wall. So defenders will just shoot your camera before you can even use the taser. And even if you get the opportunity to use said taser, you only get one shot at the taser before it must go through a long reload. This part of the gadget is pretty much useless and in my opinion, kind of serves no purpose. In my whole playtime playing Zero, I think I've only been able to use this a handful of times. On top of these issues with his gadget, I also think that there are a lot of operators that can just outclass Zero. For example, Gridlock's track stingers can watch a flank way better than Zero cams ever could. When deployed, her track stingers spread into a large area, and if a defender steps on them, they will begin to take damage. The only way for a defender to effectively get rid of track stingers are by throwing an impact at them or to shoot them. This leaves the defender vulnerable, alerts the attacker of their approach, and can down a defender if they choose to walk through them. All of this is done while no one is actively watching. With Zero, his cameras are obvious, and someone must be on them constantly to effectively flank watch. Now, yes, I understand that dead attackers can sit on his cameras. However, that still requires there to be a dead attacker in the first place. With Gridlock, you don't need this. Gridlock also has access to EMP impacts, Gone 6, and really strong primary weapons. Nomad is also in a similar boat. Her gadget also allows her to flank watch without an attacker having to watch it. However, Nomad does have the weakest loadout out of the three, but I still think she's better than Zero. My main issue with Zero is I just don't see the point in running him, when so many other operators can just do his job but better, and without someone having to actively be watching. I will acknowledge that Zero's only purpose isn't flank watch, However, that is his main task. Majority of the time in most rounds, you will be using his gadget for some sort of flank watch. Also, I forgot to mention the sheer number of counters Zero has. Currently, he is countered by Mute Jammers, Bandit Batteries, Kaid Electro Claws, Jaeger ADSs, Wamai Magnus, and technically Maestro, but I don't really count Maestro because it's not a direct counter. Now, I understand that Nomad is also countered by all of these operators. However, Gridlock is countered by none of them. Also, I would argue that specifically being countered by ADS and Wamai Magnets hurts Zero way more than Nomad, because Nomad has access to Flash Fangs, which she can use to burn the ADSs. However, Zero has no way to burn ADSs or Wamai Magnets, so if he wants to shoot a cam into sight, he will never be able to, or if he wants to shoot a cam into a position that's normally being held by other defenders, that will be basically impossible. Also, Mute countering him can be a bit annoying, because if you shoot his cams under a bomb site, they could get muted off, especially if you shoot them right under the bomb site, like on the floor. So you have to keep mute jammers in mind when you deploy his cams. And all of this combines just to make his gadget extremely annoying to use. On top of all that, I think drones can arguably flank watch and set up stationary cams better than zero cams. Drones are much easier to conceal. They aren't nearly as loud. And you already have 10 available to your team for free. Also during the prep phase, you can set them up at locations where you may need cameras later, which literally takes no time away from your round. Whereas zero has to waste time setting up his cam 
jams in the action phase. Not to mention, drones aren't stationary. So if later in the round you need a cam in the bomb site or something, you can just move your drone to do so. Whereas with Zero's cams, you can't reuse them once they've been deployed. So if you no longer need his cams in a specific location, you're basically screwed. Considering that drones are a resource given to you for free and they can do Zero's job, I think situations where he can be more useful than other operators is quite slim. As for Zero's loadout, I won't deny that it is really strong. It's honestly his strongest aspect. He has access to the SC-3000 assault rifle and the MP7 as primaries, which the SC-3000 is the clear pick. It has extremely high DPS with a moderate recoil. Its only real downsize is his small magazine size of 26 bullets. He has the 5.7 and the Gone 6 as secondary options. I find the choice between the two to honestly be quite difficult. While I do believe that the Gone 6 is an extraordinarily powerful secondary, his magazine size being so low kind of makes me want to choose his pistol. There has been a lot of times where I have to win a 1vx situation and I've lost due to the magazine size. As for his secondary gadgets, he has access to claymores and hard breach. Hard breach is extremely strong, especially right now. It gives him the ability to open hatches with ease or to open a small hole in a wall if need be. And on top of this, with secondary EMPs being a common on a lot of operators, this allows him to use the hard breach gadget even easier. So Zero having access to this and a Gone 6 is extremely strong for him. In conclusion, Zero has a lot of problems that make him really hard for me to enjoy. First off, his cameras are extremely difficult to conceal. His gadget is also countered by all the most picked defenders in the game. Also, a lot of attackers can do what Zero does but better. For example, Nomad and Gridlock. And on top of them, drones can accomplish his job and arguably better. Now, in Zero's defense, he does have a really good loadout. The only thing I can really say about it is that his Assault Rivals magazine size doesn't hold much, but overall, I think that Zero could be easily changed to be a lot better. For example, they can make the noise that his cameras make when they are being deployed a lot quieter and make the light that the cameras produce slightly dimmer and he would be a lot better. They could also buff his loadout by giving him a secondary gadget like EMPs or flashbangs. Or if they wanted to do some more sweeping changes, they could have the cameras inform Zero when they detect defenders on them. So whether that be maybe he gets like a, a notification in the bottom left of his screen or something like that, uh, letting him know that a defender just entered this camera. It would allow him to passively gather that information without having someone to have to constantly sit on the camera. And it would allow him to compete with operators like Nomad. And honestly, I think that would be a really nice change because it would make him legitimately competitive against Nomad and it would give him advantages and disadvantages against Gridlock. However, I don't think those sweeping changes are needed to make him a good operator. Honestly, just small changes could go a long way for him. And while I don't think the operator statistics tell the whole story, Zero is at the bottom below Sins and Grim. So clearly something needs to be done because an operator being this low on the win rate chart is a problem, especially someone with a primary weapon as good as Zero. Honestly, if I was to tier list Zero right now, I would probably put him middle to bottom of C, maybe even lower. I do think he needs some changes to his primary gadget before I can justify putting him higher than that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 3K subs by the end of the year and you could legitimately make a difference. If I haven't earned your sub yet, you can just go and watch this video where I talk about the meme status of Tachanka. And I'll see you next time, friends. Peace.